kind of in the theme of Brian just mentioning things from the past. This is a, a, another prayer from my father that gave, gave to us in this church a few years ago. Our Heavenly Father, we gather this morning again to humbly honor you and receive in our hearts your Son as our Savior. We come with expectations to receive the guidance of your Spirit, your plan for our salvation. We are trying to understand that we are saved by your grace, and we feel your Spirit urging us to have new vision, to not rely on our past or present resources for this understanding. May each of us be personally touched by your spirit to move out with enthusiasm and encourage one another to be, be a witness to the faith in our daily lives. Bless our most excellent speaker to share the words you have want us to, to hear today. We just need to pray, amen. Today in our prayers, we remember the people of Nicaragua, which is located in Central America. It is the largest country in the Isthmus and is home to the third largest city in the area, Managua. Although Nicaragua has undergone periods of political unrest, dictatorship, and fiscal crisis, because of its beauty and warm climate, it is also an increasingly popular tourist destination. In April of 1984, our church received Doctrine and Covenants 156.5a, which stated, the temple shall be dedicated to the pursuit of peace it shall be for reconciliation and for healing of the spirit. It was 10 years later that the first daily prayer was offered in the temple. That was almost 30 years ago. The anniversary is coming up in early December. The temple calls the entire church to become a sanctuary of Christ's peace where people from all nations, ethnicities, and life circumstances can be gathered into a spiritual home without dividing walls. And that is from Doctrine and Covenants 163, 8C. 